my handsome son. I'm gonna put you on YouTube. Where are you rolling back from work? I'm waiting for Grandma and Elijah. Where's Elijah? He's with Grandma. You're so handsome. You're so handsome. Let me see your studs. Let me see them. Let me see your earrings. Let me see them. Let me see them. I do want a controller. Mercedes actually says, I have controllers on my phone. Yeah. I have a PS4 controller that you can hook to your phone. I'm pretty sure you can. I have mine with the Bluetooth. You should try and use it. I have a Here's the little dumpy little kids. Hi there. Short video. I want to say hi and hello to my new people. Bobblehead Homestead was kind enough to say my name in his video, and I got some new, some new people. So hi. Follow along if you want. It gets kind of weird around here. I just got back from Moberly. I found a 30 gallon drum for my water. It cost me 15 bucks. So I went and picked that up. And right now I am over here at my mother's. I put a little bit of bleach in there. I'm gonna let it soak and clean it out and get it ready for my water. And I don't have to worry about hauling water quite so frequently. But I just wanted to say hi to you. Say Nice to meet you, and say hello to all my YouTube buddies. I'm in a very good mood today. I started out having a really hard day, and I had a massive, wonderful, very wonderful blessing today. Um, I'm very thankful. I don't know what happened. This has never happened to me before, anything like this. I went to Aldi's after I got my water barrel. And I did my grocery shopping. I was take I took my cart back. It, you have to put a quarter in to get a cart. So I took my cart back and I got back to my car. And the lady that was parked next to me, she comes up to the passenger window and she pulls money out of her wallet and she sets it down on the passenger seat. I said, what are you doing? And she said, this is what I was told to do. And I knew she was talking about God immediately. And I looked down, there's a hundred dollar bill, a fresh, crisp, brand new hundred dollar bill sitting on my passenger seat. She shocked me really bad. And she went and got right back in her vehicle and I just stared at her. And she said something to me. I don't know what she said. I don't think she said, God bless you, but she said something to me. And I said, thank you. And she was out and she was gone. She left. And she left me with $100. Well, my drive to Moberly is about a half hour, about 25 minutes. And I was praying the whole way there, having a hard time. And I was very thankful for that. that love gift from God to let me know he's taking care of me, he's got my back, he's going to be here for me, he's never going to leave me, and it just calmed my soul down and I'm no longer stressed anymore. So I've been stressing pretty bad the past few days. And it's hard for me to have patience and I have to have patience. I've got to work through the my job last to the end of October 
So I've got to save all my money that I make and I've just got to step right. I've got to step right and God let me know he will help me. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy today. A lot of noises like that mess with my brain. That's why I do not, do not live in the city. I don't want to hear that. I do not want to hear it. But I'm going to go, okay? I just want to say hi and see your face. Love you. God is not going to leave you. He's going to help you somehow, some way. Where we get stressed out is trying to figure out how. We don't need to worry about it. Just stay calm. You'll get through it, whatever it is. All right, I'm gonna go. Gotta go. Love you. Got my water barrel. Can you see me?